Alright guys, so my Rhodesian Ridgeback girl, she is super pregnant and I think she is going to have babies any day now. She is really, <laughs> you can tell, she's got the waddle and her nipples are really sticking out. She almost looks like she's dilated a little. So this calf hut, this is actually used for for uh, calves, for cows to, to raise them in. It works really well for really well for baby puppies. Last year uh, I had the babies in there, but this year um, I noticed that uh, it's it's got this the straw. Basically, I put straw in there last year, and the straw kind of fell all apart. So now it's really squishy. And I want to get something a little bit better in there. So this year, I'm actually going to use um, some of this grass hay I have here. And it's really coarse grass hay, and that should work really well. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing here, I basically just flip that whole thing up. And this is all the old hay from last year. And I actually had this, this uh, plywood underneath, and it keeps the dogs from digging underneath and I threw all these blankets in last night and I just wasn't really happy with the way the the straw was kind of in there it was just kind of it's just so loose if you have something that loose in with the puppies I actually had that last year and I kept losing the puppies in the straw so this year I really want something that's a lot firmer so um, it's easier for mom to keep track of the puppies all right, so I cleared out all the the old straw, and I'm just going to flip it back over. All right, so I want to start with a couple bales and see how well it packs in there as a floor. So this hay is about the perfect consistency that I like to see for bedding. You want something that doesn't have a lot of leaf and that has a lot of stems to it. And that'll set up for a real nice mat. Now I'm going to kind of flatten it out a little bit and then put some blankets on top of it. So here's the final setup for the puppies. And then I have a little hay outside in case she wants to lay out here. And the hard part is regulating the temperature in this calf hut. You kind of have to check on it several times a day. And I usually close up the top at night. It just kind of swivels around. So right now we'll keep it open, and it almost feels a little too hot in there. And that's when I lean up this other piece of plywood to kind of block the sun. So that's the final setup. And let's see how Mama likes it. I think she is ready to pop. <laughs> I think she's going to have babies tonight. She is really close. Alright, she's got a little entrance over here that she can get right in. Oh yeah, let's see if she'll come in. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can have some puppies, huh? You can have some puppies, yeah. You can have some puppies. Boy, she's definitely ready. Alright guys, it's nearing the end of the day, and Mama's getting ready to have puppies, but there's nothing in there yet, so looks like we're not going to have any babies today, but stay tuned for the next episode, where we should have some puppies. See ya!